about creating a box plot on the TI-84. I am going to do two examples. I'm going to do one that does not have an outlier and then one that does have an outlier. Once you create this box plot, from that box plot, you can then find the five number summary. All right, so in this first example right here, I have my set of data. And so I'm going to need to go into my stat button and put those numbers into a list. So under one is edit. And to save time, I have already entered all of those numbers into L1. Once you do that, then you're going to need to make sure that your uh, stats plot is turned on. So we're going to hit second y equals and we're going to go in and my stat plots for number one is already on. However, if it was not, we would want to do that. So I am going to go ahead and hit enter. All right. You can see there on or off. You can ta uh, toggle back and forth. All right. Now when I go down, I've got to choose the type of graph that I want the calculator to create. So if I go to the right, all right, this first one, which is very hard to see, but that one will give you a box plot with an outlier if there is an outlier in the list. The second one will give you a box plot and will not show any outliers. So for the most part, I always choose the first one just in case the list has outliers. It's going to find that automatically for you. If we go down your X list, I did put the list in L1. Our frequency is one. The mark just simply means uh, how they're going to create that graph. And then you can choose whatever color you would want it to be in. All right, now, um, since the data is in L1, I am ready to create my box plot. However, I am going to want it to zoom stat. So I'm gonna hit the zoom button and then zoom stat is nine. So I'm always gonna zoom nine. That way the box plot's gonna come up really nice in the window. So I've already hit the zoom button. I will hit nine. All right, so clearly here is our box plot. All right, and um, some people also have referred to this as a box, box and whiskers as well. All right, now you can see that it is not showing an outlier. And if you look at this list of numbers right here, there is no outlier. They are all pretty close together. Now, if I want to find the minimum, the first quartal, the median, the third quartal, and the maximum, I'm going to hit the trace button. So if I hit the trace button, then my cursor automatically comes up here and starts in the middle. If Let's arrow all the way to the left. All right, notice that on this far left point, it is the minimum value, which is 5. If I arrow to the right, it gives me Q1, which is 7. The median is 13. Q3 is 17, and the maximum in the list is 25. So pretty straightforward. Now let's see how this will differ if there is an outlier. So my second example here, same list, and I'm just gonna add 40 to the list. So I'm gonna go back into my stat button and I'm gonna edit. All right, I want to add 40 to my list, so I'm going to arrow down and add the number 40 to my list. All right, now my stat plots are already on and they should remain on, okay? As you can see, they're still on. So I'm gonna automatically go to zoom nine. All right, now the box plot is um, to the left here and it's clearly showing that outlier of 40. Again, if I want to identify that number from the box plot graph, I can hit trace. It'll automatically jump up to the median from there, I can arrow to the left or I can arrow to the right. Um, now notice, because of that outlier in the data, it does change some of the values. Let's actually go back and look at that. The minimum remained the five, all right? Q1 still was seven, but the median is now 14. The Q3 is now 18. The maximum number stays the same, and our outlier then is the 40. So uh, just a, a nice way to visualize those box, box plots on the TI-84 and also then find that five number summary. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.